Hey, good morning, friends. We're back. Wanted to say I missed you all. And uh, hopefully be able to see you soon once all this clears up. But uh, anyway, um, we can all be together uh, again one day. But uh, I wanted to bring a devotion to you today. Maybe sing some hymns and uh, say a prayer for us all. So uh, first of all, I um, want to uh, share this verse with you from 1 Corinthians 16. Verse 23, it says, May the love and the favor of the Lord Jesus Christ rest upon you. With that being said, let's uh, turn to our uh, hymn books today to page number 180 uh, and sing just because he lives. Because he lives, right? That's number 180. God sent his son, they called him Jesus, he came to love, heal and forgive, he lived and died, to buy my pardon, an empty grave is there to prove, my Savior lives because He lives. I can face tomorrow because He lives. All fear is gone because I know He holds the future. And life is worth the living just because he lives. Verse 2. How sweet to hold a newborn baby and feel the pride and joy he gives. But greater still the calm assurance this child can face uncertain days because he lives because he lives i can face tomorrow because he lives all fear is gone because I know he holds the future and life is worth the living just because he lives. And then one day I'll cross the river, I'll find life's fun. And then one day I'll cross the river I'll fight life's final war with pain And then as death gives way to victory I'll see the lights of glory and I'll know He lives because He lives. I can face tomorrow because He lives. All fear is gone because I know 
future then life is worth the living just because he lives well amen folks that is wonderful well let's see here we read a verse it says may the love and favor of the lord jesus christ rest upon you our devotion today comes from gail decker to his uh, administrative assistant for the good samaritan society's integration team over at our national campus across the street she says may the love and favor of the Lord Jesus Christ rest upon you are the second to the last words that Paul wrote in this letter. The last words are, my love to all of you in Christ Jesus. Amen. The importance of living in God's love and favor, and Paul stating that he loved all in the Corinth had guided my thoughts for this devotion. Our son was born uh, premature about 40 years ago. The preemies were not as tiny as they are today. It is truly amazing how tiny a baby can be born and still survive. But when he was in the NICU, the Neuro Intensive Care Unit, I remember one of the nurses telling me how important it is for the babies to be touched, to be held and loved on. She said that babe that the she said the baby that was closest to where the nurses needed to pass by for something always did better than the others in her opinion. And she believed it because as they went by, they always touched that particular baby's toes or said something to him or her. That child received more attention and helped that infant to thrive. Favor rested upon that child. They were in a spot where they were given much attention. Have you heard the term failure to thrive? This can be caused by a medical problem or it can be due to the environment such as abuse or neglect. A lack of love can cause growth or failure. Even if one has the food they need, it takes love to survive. We need love to live. The verse today states, May the love and the favor of the Lord Jesus Christ rest upon you. It is important that we know that we are loved. God's love is most important, but the love and the kindness that we show to others is important as well. God uses us. He works through us to show favor and care for those around us. In a book called Love Changes Everything, the author Micah Berto says this, one of my favorite Michael Jackson songs is the song called Smooth Criminal. I understand that that is not the most uplifting song, but there is a point to be made. There's a line in a song where MJ talks about how the person never really saw the crime coming because how smooth and surprising the criminal acted. Well, when God sent Jesus as his ultimate showcase of love for us, he became the smoothest criminal of all time. Jesus, full of love and truth, stole death, hell, and the grave away from Satan's grip. He stole the power of sin. He stole the hearts of all those who would relinquish their lives to him. And we never, ever saw it coming. I am thankful that he did not choose a Hallmark card to tell us how much he loved us. God didn't send a little love token our way. No, God sent his very own son. 
Paul knew how very important Jesus' love is and the importance of letting those that follow him know about his own love for them. Let us pray and agree in prayer. We say, Dear Lord Jesus, I pray that your love and your favor today would rest upon each one of us. And Lord, let me add that not only would your love and your favor rest upon us, but Lord, I pray that our hearts, God, would be like open pails, just ready to receive your love being put inside. The lids are off, our hearts are open. We're in need of your love and care because we, we could try to provide that for ourselves or try to get that from other people. But Lord, you truly are the only one that can fulfill us from day to day. Your word says, God, that your mercies are new for us every day. And we leak, Lord. We're, we're like buckets with holes in them. So, Father, we need you to constantly refill what is empty in our, in our hearts. And to, like with open hands, receive you, your love, and your goodness every day into our lives. More than that, even the power of your Holy Spirit. So come, Lord Jesus. Bring your kingdom as you did when you came as a baby here on earth. And as you ascended into heaven and left your disciples, you sent down the Holy Spirit on Pentecost to give us power to live and to give us the paraclete to comfort us in our hearts that we could love you in return, receive your love, and give it away to other people. And so, Lord, we thank you and we give you praise for loving us just as we are. We pray together your prayer, the prayer that you taught your disciples to pray. Please pray with me, everybody, as we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And deliver us from evil. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And sorry, I was thinking here about the next song, which is hymn number 176, which is called Thine is the Glory. So please turn to your to page number 176 and sing, Thine is the glory. I'll give you just a minute here. Glory 
risen conquering Son. Endless is the victory Thou o'er death has won. Lo, Jesus meets us, risen from the tomb. Lovingly he greets us, scatters fear from gloom. Let his church with gladness hymns of triumph sing. For her love now liveth, death has lost its sting. Thine is the glory, risen conquering Son. And us is the victory, thou or death has won. No more we doubt thee, glorious Prince of Peace. Life is not without thee, aid us in our strife. Make us more than conquerors through thy deathless love. Bring us safe through Jordan to thy home above. Thine is the glory, risen conquering sun. Endless is the victory, thou or death as one. Well, thank you, everybody. Hope that you guys have a great day, and we'll be with you soon. Bye now.